Now, we have spent a lot more time at home over these last couple of years, and the people at Vancouver's Interior Design Show, they can relate. They are hosting their first in-person show since 2019, and we have brought some samples into our studio today. And joining us to tell us all about it is one of the keynote speakers at IDS Vancouver, Jillian Siegel, the principal and founder of Jillian Siegel Design. Hello there. Hi, Gloria. And thank you so much. It feels like a, a showroom right here. I know. You're getting a little taste of what's to come at the show. Okay, so let's just talk about design philosophy. What, what do you look for in good design? Um, definitely quality and the pieces you're bringing in uh, to your space and I think really good curation and layering and just an interesting mix and making it unique and personal. Okay, well we've got an interesting mix here. Can we just start with this chair that has caught my attention? Yes. Look at this form. This what can you tell us? beautiful chair wow. from Polyform. It's called Le Club mm -hmm. um, and it really is modern modeled after a traditional club chair but with more modern sort of refined form. So it has sort of a 1970s feel to it, which I really love. I love that too. Now, what about these gorgeous wood pieces? So these, uh, this coffee table and bench here are made by a Vancouver-based company, Lock & Mortis, who I've had the pleasure of working with over the last 10 years. And they're incredible. Um, all of their materials are really sustainably sourced. So all of their wood comes from North America and they sell a lot here in the Lower Mainland. And all of the angles are curved here. There's a, there is a, a lovely sort of organic quality to the design here as well. Yeah, this Powell coffee table was actually inspired by the root system of a red oak tree. So you're really seeing the grounded curves um, in the base here, which I think is really- I love exciting. it, I love it. Now just behind you here, yes. we've got some beautiful little lamps. So these are super lightweight. Um, yes. What can you tell us? These guys are portable. As you can see, they're mm -hmm. indoor outdoor. They're designed by a company called Marseille. They're available at Robbins and Lighting. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they are easy to bring inside, outside. You could even throw them on a bookshelf and style it that way. And they actually also have a little USB plug in them. I love that. And look at yeah. you can adjust the different. They're really the great lighting for forces you know, as well. an evening outdoors. That would make a nice gift too. Like totally. you said, indoor, outdoor. Yes. Look at this beautiful chair. What can yes. you tell us? This is a really cool chair by Emily Wilson. It's uh, also made here in Vancouver, and it's actually uh, made out of uh, re resourced arbutus wood and cork, which I think are really interesting materials. And they actually flat pack this chair, and you're able to disassemble it and reassemble it in about 10 minutes. Oh, I love that. Yes. I bet you don't need any little special tools or anything. I think there's one Allen tool. key that's <laughs> actually right under there, but it's a lot easier than IKEA. No, that's, that's a, <laughs> it's a gorgeous design. Goodness, I'd love to have a room with all of these pieces in it. And what about this one? This is kind of curious. This one's really whimsical and fun, which I love. It's by another Vancouver designer, um, Liam McClure, and he uses 100% recycled plastic material for these chairs. And when they make them, um, each chair actually has its own unique shape to it. So each one is an individual. Okay, but you could get a whole set and just have them, again, you, you could set these all around a table, but everyone would have their little bit, like you get your own, your own napkin ring, you get your own chair. Totally. I got it. Take us, take us all through here, because these pieces are really intriguing. Yeah, so these stools over here um, are 3D printed. They're by a company which is a bit of a mouthful. I'm going to try and pronounce it properly. Uh, Stulito. Um, and each one also, like the chair, each one is unique. Um, and they're also made of 100% compostable material. And they're super light. Like if you go pick one of those really? up, well, I'm going they're to really do easy. Right I could use two fingers. <laughs> Look at that. Seriously. Yeah. No, so they're actually, super light, so great for, you know, if you're having extra guests over and want to pull up a chair, it's really easy to move around. You could around. use it for a coffee table or a totally. stool and 3D printed. Yeah. I love that. It comes in a variety of colors. Those are great pieces as well. Jillian, what have we got here? So this is a really special sculpture by a company called Obaki, which I'm a really big fan mm -hmm. of. They're a really mission-driven company, so they really look to support local artisans all across the world. So these were actually made in Mexico by a community of women who weave these, and they're really trying to keep their traditional weaving alive. And so Obaki really goes and supports these communities. So this is a sculpture, and you have them in different heights as well, so you can sort of vary them in your, in your space. Yeah, you could do a really cool installation. There's some wall-hanging ones, so it's a special statement piece for sure. Okay, come and bring us along. This is uh, something else. Green, living, are these actually alive? 
So they actually are, but they're perfect for people like me who have a black thumb and kill everything because they're actually <laughs> preserved. Um, so they don't require any water or maintenance and oh. it gives you like a beautiful green living piece in your, your space, but without any of the headaches. Okay, so we've got these on a tilt right now, but this would this could be a centerpiece. This, this could go anywhere in your home. It could be a home. wall hanging. Ah. It could be on a coffee table. And these are by Green Stem. Okay, now what, as a designer, are you most excited about as uh, IDS Vancouver gets to open to the public again? I'm really excited that it's finally in person and that we're getting to kind of come together as a design community. And it really excites me to see all this Vancouver talent of all these makers being showcased. I think people don't always think of Vancouver as being this really design forward city, but we've got so much incredible talent here, so I think it's great that we're showcasing them. Well, thank you so much for bringing in so many wonderful pieces here to our, our Vancouver studios today, and have a great time at the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me.